Forewarning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. My loyal shield boy, are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya, she is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the Sage and Bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the four, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth! Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly, with a ball of flaming refuse. Ah, la, 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 la! This reminds me of a day 20 years back, when I sailed with a group of pirates. The Sicilians, was it? Ah, you heard the stories. That's right. I was a hired call. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch, and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only leap into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a charade of pieces. Only. A shred can be hard to come by. He speaks! The great Medjai! We are at sea, Captain. Any great to see is yours. Ptolemites! Burn them! La la la! We 
A dozen missing triremes, not a lot the main fleet. It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! Captain, my sheep smells like charcoal. The masters, please, shut up! We press on! With caution, we're not yet in calmer waters. Heave a galley speed! Army ships! They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those naked that will feel Ra's arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian vulgarity on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. Ah, la, 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 la. The fleet awaits your command, Aya. Our catapult will fire upon your horde. Fire a fleet is at your disposal. One signal, and fire to burst upon them. Shit, this is not a battle we win without catapults. Ah, la, la, la! Let's go! Hey! 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 But not the Vorsmen. Something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, and the water.
two ships down? Damn Ptolemy! He's making fine navy though. I'm no foxy general with bottomless Roman coffers! Those were my men! Easy, Foxidas. We're not done yet. Our catapults will do their work. We'll make them pay. And dearly, by the falls of Zeus! I want the ocean turned dark with their blood! Damascus! Make the call! Increase the rhythm! Yes, my captain! Alala! They sent an octary! A floating seat! Blast! Do the gods wish my fleet destroyed? Fickle decided! This old fish will stick in your grizzled throat! Bear up, old man. Let's not offend the gods without cause. I'll take angry gods over docile ones right now! Open up the skies and rain some kind of shit down on us! We have one last beast to hunt. Speed off! Ah, steady, steady! We're under fire! Speed off! We're under! Steady! steady. More speed! such a humor, Aya! The day I met you was the day danger found me again. Right? You are one lucky medjai. <laughs> As are we. Lucky to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? Not at all! Not at all! My blood runs quick now, with the roar of battle! By Zeus! I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father! <laughs> Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we're done! <laughs> Attacking starboard! Oh, we are not done! <laughs> Ptolemy is Malakir, not dead yet! Get out of the reed boats, use the fog to hide your escape! But I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Free, you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> Fort 
battle, we will honor our goddess! We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? On phone. Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my phylakitae. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Do you think we could take them all? Of course. We have better gods than them. Are we there yet? Sereno. Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on, then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry, it is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Uh, I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Guest legionary, at ease. Your disposition, Caius. Uh, 
Pompei was bound to be killed sooner or later. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <clears throat> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! My wretched brother. He's at the wine go to vinegar. And my kingdom to pieces. Great lady. Your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bortinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow, our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You prove your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Magi's. Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> It is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice.
It is a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure it is. Really? You insult our efforts. We tried everything. Hmm. I doubt it. Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. Hmm. They got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. is not as solid as it looks. There must be a way beneath. Around! This is a tighter squeeze than the cave west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days. to now, my love. It must be through the sewers. No one had the courage to plunge into Hades' rivers. We are the ones. After you, Aya.
too. Incredible. I hope you will provide me with a similar sarcophagus. <laughs> Whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Promise me you will bury me with my blade, so I can protect myself in the field of reeds. Promise. These markings along the bottom, they speak of Siwa, the vault, and a scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees, where a marked sphere meets its scepter. Man to king, king to god. A marked sphere? What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. These paintings on the wall. His birth. He was Macedonian. A Greek that became Egyptian. Like me. <laughs> he began the rule of our latest pharaohs. The dynasty of Ptolemies that have ruined Egypt. He founded Alexandria and brought us the great library where Aristotle mentored him. He abandoned education for bloodshed. Hmm. Not unlike us. Here is when he crowned Ptolemy Lagos as his successor. So the rule of the Ptolemies began. And the Magi's ended. Magi's disappeared because of him. You cannot blame one man for everything. All men are to blame. And women. He was hailed as a savior when he first arrived in Memphis. He was a conqueror.
Lex Immortalis. The stuff he is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It me to you vent. Together, we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar and starts impressing us? Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We have found the great king. Taking on the entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calculated kill and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries. This is a truly wondrous sarcophagus. A tomb fit for a god. There must be more to this tomb than we see. We should set our soldiers to excavate it all. Yes, my Imperator. What hidden powers lie amidst this tomb, we must possess. Yes. Yes, Flavius. I do feel privileged to be near this great man. It resonates. His aura is all-consuming. He is immortal. That is why. What he possesses is immortal as well. We should bring this sarcophagus to Rome. For now, I need to introduce you to some friends of mine. We have a lot to discuss. What do you think of this, Apollodorus? The scepter has a value beyond words. I am sure of it. The gold in the sarcophagus would normally be enough to fund a war. These are offerings we can make to court Rome even more. Tampering with the sarcophagus of a god king is not the most fortuitous of acts. We are gods. It is our right to take what is ours. And it all is. As you say, my queen. You should discuss it with Caesar and Flavius. They will be wooed by riches and the glory of our great Alexandria. Bring them into the fold completely. How are my emissaries? Any news? No. I will get to it, Lord Caesar. Clear the way! What's wrong with you? Clear the way!
Whoa. Whoa. We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimius, they are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. A change of plans. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. Then they said... They left for... Where? Where? I may have more valuable information. I need to bring him back to Caesar. I should find a horse. Romans ignored us at their peril. We will riot. Fellow citizens, we must take up arms. I'm heading to the Seraphian. Praying is our only hope left. You have loyal men, Caesar. Septumius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius, they want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. 
I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then, my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will. Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoi, I smell war! <laughs> we will put our queen on the throne. You are the only queen worthy of the throne! <laughs> <sighs> Give me the powder. Caesar thinks a woman cannot do this job. <laughs> Proof Caesar wrong, my love. Best not be seen here.
I thought I heard a scarab rolling up my tower. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me of the Alexandrian horse I am gifted by the Order of Ancients. Perhaps I will skip you around. Now you've offended even my heart. This Pharos is Ptolemy's. Be gone! <laughs> this Pharos will only burn for the In Zeus' name, did you kill my captain? Ptolemy's men are breaking through our line. No! Wait till I see the signal. I can't believe you trusted a woman to do something of such importance. How are the fleet to receive their orders? Patience, Caesar. The die is cast. <laughs> Come, we go to the battlefield. Vegai, cover the retreat. Many men have doubted to die. All have found themselves dead by a blade. Hey! 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 Out of the way! Brace yourself! Hard left! We will be dead. You focus on driving. I will keep these fools at bay. Odd way to speak of your countrymen. Any who would give up on our people is no countryman of mine. 
Bayek. Now, we must join the ships. We will be heroes. Sword and mine. Runs three stadia. According to our speculators, Potinus leads the charge. Keep the soldiers distracted, Caesar. I will handle Potinus at Victoria.
bolt in your charge! Mars himself fights with us! Destroy them all! Insane order comes to an end, Potinus. Face your judgment. They went too far in Siwa. I knew it then. But I just wanted peace for Egypt. Your peace leaves many wanting. This is inevitable. A good rule always does. My apologies, Bayek of Siwa. My fee is covered, it seems. Now may I go to my glory. There is no glory left in Egypt. The damned eunuch is no more. Good. The speculatores found Septimius. He is in the village beyond. I will distract his men while you capture him. We must know what he plans. You would think your spies would already know. They have their limits. But they claim Aya has the scent of that puppet king. So they also have their uses. Then Ptolemy is already caught. I will finish the rest. finally comes. You will see your god soon. We finally fight. Are you ready for your end? Prepare to face judgments of Timius. You will find yourself in the Duat soon.
Did you miss me? Stop, Bayek! Septimius is Roman. We will deal with him under our laws. He killed my son! Everything for which we have worked for so long is now ours. We have defeated our enemies. Only I can lead Egypt into a new era of prosperity. So you stand with Septimius now, and we are banned from the palace. I do not begrudge the venom in your eyes, but listen for a moment. Speak quickly, or you will find yourself at the wrong end of my blade. Your services are no longer needed. Cleopatra has granted you gold. I am sorry, Aya. Sorry? We gave her everything. We gave her that damn clown, and she stands next to him. And where is justice for us? Septimius was supposed to be judged by Rome. Is Caesar protecting the order? There are compromises to make a queen of Cleopatra. The man who killed our son is your ally. We are going to do whatever it takes to kill him. You realize? No, Caesar blames you for the death of Ptolemy. A pharaoh, a god, by a... I cannot change this. Be damned what Caesar thinks. It is with Cleopatra that I made the pact. Give me time, Aya. I will ease this for us. Until then, I beg you, be careful. Not everything is as it seems. Uh! Traitor!
With all my words, I have nothing to say now. Cleopatra has been poisoned by Rome, and we by her treachery. We will burn with Egypt. The order is stronger now. They have Rome. I will deal with this. Hold on, hold on. I was wrong. I am responsible. When my boy died, I fought back with rage and anger. But this only made them stronger. We are all different, but we fought together to put Cleopatra on the throne. Now, this was a mistake, my friends, but at least it brought us together. Now our enemies are hidden behind crowns, walking in the shadows of kings and queens. Who are the ones that walk in the shadows for the people? We are. Something has come of all of this, and it starts right now. We must continue the fight and defend the free will of the people. And no matter how small, our brotherhood is the only hope, and our kingdom needs no crowns. What we believe in, our values, our creed, will unify us. And I promise that for all the songs of Egypt, I will be the father I was not that day in Siwa. To the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood! You were right. I trusted the wrong goddess. There's a question that yet lingers. Septimius. He took Alexander's staff. Why? Indeed. He and Flavius had too much interest in Alexander's tomb. We start there. Thank you. 